Oh, cooking simulator. I like I like cooking simulator. Hey, there's Josh. I wanna I wanna see cooking simulator. That seems fun. Welcome that back seems to Let's like Game It Out. We're playing some cooking simulator today. They were kind enough to give me a key for their latest pizza update. And if there's one Ooh. thing I love, it's cooking food in a very sane and normal way. Oh, Here we yes! Are in our brand new pizzeria. As you can see, we have a lovely view of the outdoors. And by that, I mean everything's in throwing range. Anyway, let's take <laughs> a look around. This is our pizza making station. Uh -huh. All of our ingredients are going to go there, but we haven't prepped anything yet. And of course, pizza's bacon here. Meanwhile, we have this other room where we prep ingredients, which is why we have so many wild wild pieces of machinery like an automatic cutter, an electric uh -huh. grater, a food processor, and my personal favorite, the dough mixer. Oh, but we're not done there. Dough we mixer. have a dungeon. Or I guess Yo! normal people call it a cellar. We got all the normal stuff you put on pizza, like bananas, what? and eggplant, and sweet corn. Bananas? Not to mention all these weird ingredients no one ever uses, like onions, and garlic, and eight bajillion kinds of delicious meats. And of course, we can't forget cheese. We got your parmesan, your pa pecorino. Chipotle, whatever the hell this is. Chel oh, no, I this cooler here, where we this. definitely yes. don't He's keep bodies. Oh, we don't oh, keep no. bodies. Well, color it's me surprised. Me all right all the greats are here. Shrimp, squid, fried egg. Well, now that I'm sure we all have a hankering for pizza, let's go ahead and take our first order and make some dreams come true. Bing, bing, bing. Buffalina, Neapolitan style dough, marinara sauce, buffalo mozzarella. Seems easy enough. First things first is we gotta make the dough. Thankfully, the game is kind enough to show us exactly how to make the dough. We mm -hmm, begin with the mm -hmm. finest milled double zero flour, or as I like yeah, to call it, double O flour. License to mill. Okay, now it's time to add some water. Well, I mean, the sink is here, and I can definitely turn I'm this kinda, on and uh, waste I'm water blocking. at a catastrophic rate. I think I saw something in here we can use for water. Ah, yes, this festive jug. Wait, can I really put water in this? In the past tense, I mean. Okay, you know what? Let's go to our magical box here, which allows us to buy all kinds of fancy things. And I'm just gonna substitute water with olive oil. Gives it a nice gold <laughs> oh, color. Yes. Now it's time to add some salt. Where do I keep that? Do I keep it down here? Well, anchovies are kind of salty, right? I'm sure oh, this will do no, just stop. fine. Oh my god, no, stop! Oh my god, it pours so aggressively, too. <laughs> okay, it's time. What a beautiful golden yellow color. Oh, and this is how you I know it's do, done. Ah, it's today. a blob. Good enough oh, for me. No, Let's make some pizza out of it. First, we cute. need to use this rolling pin and... Huh? You mean I can't just use mystery dough? All right, what? hold on. We gotta test this. Stupid Neapolitan dough needing correct ratios and water and stuff. Oh, so that's what dough is supposed to look oh. like as it lands all over the dirty <laughs> floor. Oh my god, it's like a real Perfect. pizza. The next step is we need to make marinara sauce. I'm not even gonna look at the ingredients. I got this. Tomatoes, tons of garlic. Like Bring it dough. to the food processor and watch it get siphoned in magically. Oh, can't weekend. forget a couple herbs. A couple herbs. Oh. There we go. Yep, everybody uh, just a, in. Don't be shy. Those are the noises just a few. I like to hear when it's grinding up my sauce. Just a little bit. Mmm. Just like marinara is supposed to look. One last but thing it looks to prep good, and we're though. good to go. Which includes making little trays like of cut pesto. buffalo mozzarella and cut cherry tomatoes. Basket. Dungeon. A conservative number of cherry tomatoes. <laughs> and buffalo mozzarella. Why is there so many? Okay. Things go in here and they get mulched. Ta-da. Sumptuous toppings. Let's Wait, make what? this pizza. Oh, boy. Here we go. Let's put it right down. Oh, I see. <laughs> you know, maybe I can just... Oh, oh my <laughs> oh, God! No. Uh, mm, so tasty. All oh, right, if we fuck. do this, it looks a little more pizza-like. But no one wants that, so instead we're going to have this sad face. Now it's time to add our <laughs> buffalo mozzarella. Now, when it comes to cheese, you want to do it a little bit sparingly. You don't want to make it too rich, but you also <laughs> want to make sure people get what they Stop! paid for. Because no one wants to feel taken advantage of at a restaurant. There, see, that's what I meant. And <laughs> some tomatoes. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, let's get this in what the oven. What is in this? You go. And while we wait for that thing to bake, we have a sponsor for this video. So let's open up our phone and Hello, check out who it is. Well, how about that? It's Forsaken World Gods and Demons. Forsaken this is a casual World? RPG for Android and iOS wow. with an emphasis on autoplay, which pretty much an means you can play the game one of two game? ways. The good old-fashioned way of mobile? moving your character around, taking quests, and beating stuff up. Wow. Or you can tell the game to do all of that for you, and it'll do it with such laser precision. You'll think Dude, you're watching let's a go. I love My favorite part is when these themselves. NPCs are trying to talk to you, and you're yes. already gone. The village behind me is 
Sorry, suckers. Perfect. I don't have time for your lore. Oh, but yes. one place you're not going to want to autoplay your way through is the character creator. With its customization, you can make something beautiful, mm -hmm. or you can take all these sliders, move them all the way to the farthest <laughs> extremes, and that's how you have a brow ridge that covers your you eyes know? and a very beautiful lower lip. If this doesn't scream, you may not like it, but this you, is what peak what male does. performance looks like. And if you scan this code like. when you're making your character, you can look just like him. And I guarantee you, <laughs> every cutscene in this entire game is made better by this face. And don't forget to customize your outfit. Oh, and you're not the only looker Oh, it's in this got them cheeks! Ever since they reached open beta, the game Damn. has seen improved visuals. Like, check this out. Even your starting mount has abs. And there's other, <laughs> shall we say, more exotic mounts that you can also unlock. And if that weren't enough, what there's the also fuck? pets who you can well, custom well, name. Mm, cats. cats. Bless their hearts, they try to help even when I'm trying to abandon them. Which is gonna happen once I ditch them for a new pet. There's also daily events, that's, challenges, that's and limited shit. time stuff yeah. totaling 37 events to play with, as well as guild events that let you hop in, declare wars with others, and the game's mm -hmm. official Facebook will also post about guild war events. Mm -hmm. The game also features new and improved voice acting, and the devs voice are adding genders acting. to each class and by the end of the year. And they didn't even ask me? You can also me? customize your character's skill tree at will. Wow. So if you like what you see wow. and you want to try it for yourself, the link wow. you need is in the description. There's also a code you can use right here Myth to redeem a whole bunch of free goodies. Yes. And you can also check out their Facebook page to learn more. Thanks again for the sponsorship. Thank you and for saying for this beautiful spot. Anyway, where were we? Oh, I know where we were. The pizza's well, just about done. done. So let's pick Everyone up the thingamabob, aggressively scrape it out of there. Mm. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, you can't. God. Levitating tomatoes wow. on a nice billowy blanket that of molten cheese. With great. a sumptuous homemade sauce underneath. Well, before we send it out, we can't forget one vital ingredient, the basil leaf. So we'll just or put leaves. One there and there, and then a nice line across. Now, I realize it's going to be hard for the customer <laughs> to see this face, though, when they're busy being wowed by all this. Now it's time to plate. <laughs> it's a big pizza, so we're going to use a big plate. Oh, yeah. The cornerstone of cooking simulator. <laughs> Needing to give ample clearance for the most fragile plates on the planet. Okay. Go ahead and put that. No. Everyone behave themselves. Okay. 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 Yeah. Oh, Piping yeah. And ready to eat. It only took 53 good minutes stuff. for it to come mm. out. <laughs> Bye. No, it's Have a good fun pizza. Going into outer space. Ah, let's see quality what they thought about. Of you know, I quantity. see stars at all, so I feel like that's a huge accomplishment. Let's see the dough. Different size Why and is order. There Oh, I'm sorry. Was the pizza too plentiful style. for you? What? You didn't want my homemade green sauce? Aw, oh, see, here's someone of discerning taste. All che check marks cheese. for the cheese. Overall, yeah, that was shockingly well, we got which the means cheese, we have to boy. redouble our efforts. Make something truly terrible. Beef house? What the hell Beef kind house? of pizza is that? Okay, here we go. Sourdough pizza dough, Alfredo sauce, gorgonzola, ground beef, and red onion. Okay, listen, when I think beef house, I don't think one kind of meat. So let's tweak this order a little bit. Give the people not what they ask for, <laughs> but what we've decided they want. See, this feels so much more appropriate, doesn't it, for a meat mountain or whatever it's called? I mean, we got all the greats, like meat and some meat and then more meat. Wait, there can is I just put so some many of this stuff meats. in here? Wait, what's yes. it gonna pull in? Oh, just all the meats? <laughs> Oh boy. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious sauce. meat paste. See, now we're getting yeah, somewhere. What? All meats, no vegetables, no spices. Also, this thing calls for sourdough pizza dough. Uh, it's just bread meat. Flour, Everything sourdough starter. Meat. That's way different than my existing floor dough. You know what, actually? It looks like you can only make four different types of dough. Can I just make these in bulk like a real restaurant would? Only one way to find out, oh. and that's to triple the recipe and see what happens. Let's see. <laughs> if it needs two liters normally, that's six liters we're going to give it. And yeah. Yes, it turns out this jug totally works. And now for some salt and sourdough starter and olive oil. Here it comes. Fresh packed, delicious floor bread. And hey, look oh at God. that. How it's many actually sourdough. Make? And boy, it just keeps on coming, doesn't it? <laughs> well, that was a rousing success. So now that we're on a roll, <laughs> let's Why? mix all the others. Okay, that's a little <laughs> more like it. Enough pizza dough for a lifetime. <laughs> and then some. <laughs> what the hell was that? Are you just saying hi to me, she dough monster? Very now excited. that our dough situation very is fixed, excited. the last thing we need to do is grab some gorgonzola, as requested by the Full customer. <laughs> ah, the finest cheese. Okay, we'll just put that next to our meat sauce, and then just keep sifting through the pile until I find some sourdough. Ah, <laughs> there we go. Come with me. Sourdough. It's time to make a beef house. So, of course, we're going to have to start with our exquisite sauce. <laughs> 
God. Make sure to get it. It looks so bad. Why is the sauce texture so bad? Oh, you know what? I forgot about the meat toppings. I can just shove this thing in here, right? Sure can. Okay, that's one dip. Delish. Some of that. And one of these. Can't forget this. Okay, I think we got this under control now. Behold, Ooh. Meatropolis, a meat no. for every season. Now All let's construct meats. this pizza. Let's give it a really strong foundation. Got to make sure you use a lot of different building materials. <laughs> Otherwise, how the is it going to grow up to be big and strong? In the middle. After all, Not what if even there are intruders? Centered. I like, can't. Ugh, vegetables. And let's make sure to give it a nice <laughs> gorgonzola moat and a nice prosciutto drawbridge. Huh, you know, on further inspection, <laughs> it's definitely more like a fortress with like a tongue. <laughs> but I am glad that these walls it's are it's a mimic. Holding in our meat menagerie. Oh, you know what we're missing too? Almost forgot about shrimp. Technically a meat as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> oh, that was ultra pleasant. Oh, yeah. Just nakedly hanging out in the sauce. And one Beautiful. in the middle. Just as a nice Raw surprise. shrimp. Oh, God. He is the shrimp <laughs> king. Nummy, nummy, num. Oh, boy, I can't wait. Come here, meat explosion. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Oh, wow, look oh, at that. Fuck. That cheesemo really came together, didn't it? And let's give it a little sprig of parsley, you know, for presentation, <laughs> right on the edge of the tongue. <laughs> now, just a review. They wanted a pizza with Alfredo sauce, gorgonzola, some ground beef, and red onion. I'm pretty sure this is exactly what they're hoping for. I so mean, let's not keep them waiting. No, where's the Orders onion? Up. Yeah, it's for the beef house that give you ordered an hour onion. 36 <laughs> minutes ago. And off it goes into outer space. No, for all, it they're still so pretty charitable. Long ago. Like, sure, I apparently gave them too big of a pizza or whatever, and they commented that the sauce wasn't wow. exactly what they were wow, expecting. Wow, they're complaining about okay pizza being too big. <laughs> oh, what? You didn't like any of those? Not even <laughs> the shrimp? Well, I never. Okay, for this next one. Cheeses. Well, now you're speaking my language. If my language was disappointment, only three cheeses? I got a better idea. How about we get rid of all these room temperature meats and let's make <laughs> you a real cheese pizza. Excuse me, oh, cheeses God. pizza. That's right, into the food processor. <laughs> yep, just get it all in there. Delish. And I can only imagine that it has the sludgy consistency of paint. Now, if you look at all these cheeses, they tell it an so interesting does. story. And by that, I mean the icons show that they can be both grated and sliced. So boy, oh boy, do we have a lot lot of work ahead of us as I drunkenly miss my own <laughs> basket. Okay. Now we just need to turn Fuck. this into this. We're talking 12 different kinds of sliced cheeses and an additional can play this game 10 in that VR. are grated. Now you might be wondering, that Josh, be such what a makes fun this game. different than the meat one? You're just doing the same thing, but with cheese. An insanely aggressive amount of cheese. And while that's true, it <laughs> is still can't. pizza after all. I do still have a couple innovations we're gonna try out on these pizzas. Do you think I got it? I can't really tell. Now, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is use something nice and visible, like this vibrant cheddar. And we're okay. gonna make a nice little concerned face. And into the oven it goes. Now, All we're right. not done. I need you to have faith here. After we let it hang out in there for a little while, we pull it back out. Ah, good. It looks like a mushroom <laughs> cloud. And now we just give it a nice border of mozzarella, followed by another what eye, a fuck? nose, and a slightly unhappy looking mouth. And scoop it up. And it goes. It's subtle, but it's there. Not like it matters, because we're going to cover it in ricotta now. I what think you can fuck? see where this is going, right? Put it in, pull it out, put it back down, <laughs> generously add some gorgonzola, and rinse and repeat, <laughs> alternating the type of cheese you use every time. God knows what this is supposed to be. Ah, uh, yes, that's how I like my shredded cheddar. Like a haircut that went wrong. Or even better <laughs> is when the pizza toppings have that what Thanos snap look to them. I also feel like every time I put the pizza back in the oven, it's having a little bit more of a problem. It's all part of the plan. <laughs> and before you know it, once the frame rate allows it, the pizza is ready. Look at that, still what smiling the fuck after is all this? this time. It's so tall and thick with cheese at this point that when I put it down, the pizza peel gets stuck on it. I call this my <laughs> three times three times three cooked pizza. And if you're wondering where the name comes from, it's because it's been in and out of the oven 27 times. And totaling up all the ingredients, this pizza has 27.5 kilograms of cheese on it, which is 60 <laughs> glorious pounds. But before we send this beauty out, we're going to give it one final flame kiss. Oh, God. oh no, it's stop. perfect. Like a smiley balloon in the middle of being oh, on God. fire. You know, maybe I'll give it a little bit. No! <laughs> oh, God. I didn't think it could get worse, but here we are. Come on, Nightmare Pie. This guy's only been waiting 53 minutes for this one. Oh, my God. What's happening to it as it flies away? That's not a pizza. That's not even from this planet. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, see, that's more like it. Solid X's across the board. <laughs> okay, look, I get it that they're unhappy that the pizza cheese? was burned, and that the sauce what? was burned, and that the cheese was burned, and that the time was apparently burned. But why did I get marks the down time on the time leaf burnt. and dill weed for that? I didn't even put these on the pizza. Okay, fine. We're gonna do one more pizza. And I realize this person thinks they're getting a fairly normal pizza with marinara sauce and mozzarella and all that stuff. But it's Josh's arts and crafts time now, so we're gonna make our own special pizza, and they're just gonna have to like it. The first First thing I need is they some artistic choice. inspiration. And by that, I mean I'd love to see a little splash of color. Like maybe a little red wine vinegar. Yes, that's <laughs> the stuff. Oh, I wonder if peanut butter is any good too. What All the, the gross fuck? colors of the rainbow. Well, give me a second. Time to make the place beautiful. Okay, this is looking a little bit better. Uh, splash of color. I mean, it's a little less like I got artistic inspiration and more like I created a kill room out of saw. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is while I walk through all this glass and trail blood down into the cellar, I am inspired. Okay, so we're going to make a pizza what? with all the un Unsung heroes the of the pizza world. I'm talking <laughs> sweet corn and chickpeas, black beans, not just canned capers, but caper berries. And what's this over here trying to hide from me? Hazelnuts. My go to oh, ingredient for pizza. Too. Just like Gordon Ramsay always says, the best pizza comes out of little cylindrical jars and cans slowly pulsing in a picnic basket. Yeah. Come, serial killer kitchen. Let's <laughs> I feel like every episode of this game, I'm picking up crap off the ground, surrounded entirely by danger and chaos. Help me out, Jug. Help me clear some space. Nah, well, good wow. enough. On you go. I'm so pumped. There's just so much delicious stuff here. <laughs> oh, this is not at all what I was expecting when I ground up all those caper berries. And I believe the rest of these cans, looking at you, sweet corn. No slicing required. <laughs> just put it we got in. some other things we haven't touched yet, like mussels, which we're going to prepare down here in like the shadiest oh, possible yeah. way. Like put something them in. the manager told us to do without anyone seeing us. Okay, look, I know that this is a game for all sorts of people, but who is putting boiled broccoli? Broccoli on pizza. We are. Oh, that's who. broccoli is golden. Shut the fuck up. Everything into the basket. Come on, come on. A plus, totally works. Almost mm, had one of the ingredients. Oh yeah, this is definitely the ultimate pizza. Oh my god, it's so healthy Boiled looking. Broccoli, We're missing though. the sauce though. You know what? I have an the boiling is maybe a bit much, but broccoli is mellow. golden. Go, or I could partially miss. Broccoli is miss. great. Either way works for me. Should I add something else? Is that kind of bland? You know you're right. I should. Should add Cajun seasoning. <laughs> yeah, that's the magic. The you know what they say, don't let your dreams stay dreams. Ah, yes. As the light hits it, it feels like it's pulled right out of a horror movie. Yeah, broccoli okay, okay, time okay, to so mad. Broccoli in general, it's such a sauce. golden veggie. Just to get your mind off the idea that this looks like a cross section of someone's body, there's marshmallows <laughs> in there. And that's when we do a dash of squid, and then go ahead and spell the word Y in mussels. <laughs> then maybe use the tuna, spell something so other people at the table can read it, and then just so it's not too obvious. A shower of beans and capers. Make sure to yes. cluster all the broccoli together that it looks like it's one big head. Yep, that's what it looks like. You know, I can't believe I'm saying this, what but from the, the side, it's actually sort of pretty whoa, looking. Whoa. It's like you're on a beach in hell. Oh, and let's make sure to top it off with a little bit of parsley. Okay, we'll go ahead and just start stacking it. Uh-oh, I don't know if you can tell what's happening here, but the it's more I add, closer. the closer it's getting to our face. It's coming oh, wow, closer. this parsley's really stackable, isn't it? Oh, yeah, uh. now we're talking. <laughs> Who knew garnishes were so versatile? <laughs> well, now that we gave it a parsley unicorn horn, which, by the I way, can't. is completely rock solid, I think it's about time to serve. No time for baking. This needs to go out now. Besides, why would we want to ruin the natural... <gasps> oh, God, is it okay? I was just trying to throw no! the shovel thingy. Wait, hang on. That might have been for the better. I think I've learned something else you can do with this stacking method, which I think you can make kind of like a little funnel thing. It turns oh into like a parsley <laughs> tornado. You know, why does everything end up looking like a nightmare? This isn't my fault. It's the parsley's fault. All two kilograms of it. Ah, oh, beautiful. Quite the centerpiece for my monstrosity. <laughs> well, I think it's time to serve this masterpiece, just like the last one. Beautifully raw. Okay, let's put... <laughs> what just happened? Wait, uh, okay, the game is freezing entirely now. Nope, nope, that's not ideal either. Okay, pizza, I need you to behave. Let's just get you situ- No, 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 no. Sorry, buddy, you're gonna have to wait another second for your pizza. It, okay, we're just gonna rejected. take this plate. Rejected we're just gonna pizza. rest it right here. Pick my collage off the ground. Okay, just <laughs> put it right there. Easy. Okay, this is the moment. This is the moment. Get it out. 
Okay. <laughs> Good enough. Okay, look, that's not entirely my fault. I know you waited a long time for what turned out to be an empty plate, but I will not apologize for my art. Come on, crazy pizza. Let's go be somewhere where we're appreciated. And that's when I'm going to use a glitch I found, where if I open this drawer and open my phone at the same time, mm -hmm. I am now in the drawer. And when I come back, I've climbed up on the countertops. Time to get out of here. And of course, because we're not supposed to be out here, everything is a little odd. But I'm not going to let that stop me and pizza from living our lives. So I hope you had fun. What I know the I fuck? did. Pizza and I are going to see what's over on this other <laughs> island. And I'll see you next time. What the? He is making his hey, great escape indeed. Holy shit. <laughs> I can't. What the fuck?